From Christian Louboutin to Gucci and Chanel, designer items that belong to Wendy Davis could soon be yours. Brandon Todd joins us with details on the former state lawmaker's big sale as she moves out of Fort Worth. Brandon. Yeah, she's in the process of selling her Fort Worth condo, and now she's hired Paula Britton to sell many of her belongings. And a lot of folks, Clarice, believe that with as popular as she has become in Texas politics, there won't be much left when it's done. Christian Louboutin, we have Escada, we have Chanel's. Straight out of the store, Polini's. Even and a couple pairs of these shoes would run you thousands of dollars. These are the Jimmy Choo's. But Can these are perhaps have even have more valuable, sale. having Thank belonged so to former Fort Worth City Council member, state senator, state. and one time candidate for governor, Wendy Davis. So she's a well known, she's an important part of Texas history. There's no question about that. The sale, starting tomorrow, consists mainly of Davis's clothing, an Escada suit, items by Nanette Lepore, handbags by Tory Burch and Chanel. UTA political science professor Alan Sachs says these types of auctions are usually for celebrities, and in Texas, Wendy Davis fits the bill. My young students know her name. They may not know the governor of Texas. They don't know the two U.S. senators from Texas, but they know Wendy Davis's name. There are also these size six and a half pink running shoes, not the ones she made famous during her 11 hour filibuster on the Senate floor in 2013 to try and stop a restrictive abortion law, but similar. That filibuster is one of the most famous filibusters, I guess, in Texas history. Uh, not the only one, but perhaps one of the most notable. Davis is selling the items as part of her move to Austin. Other items from her Fort Worth condo up for sale, her treadmill, a personalized yoga mat, drink mixer, popcorn maker, and this cowboy hat, lined with the inscription made especially for Wendy Davis. And just like a sports enthusiast would buy a signed baseball, Davis's political faithful will want a connection to her. Uh, not only, uh, you know, just an, an attractive lady, you know, nothing wrong about that, but she was attractive politically. And again, uh, that uh, we, a lot of questions here about why she was selling all these things. We reached out to Wendy Davis today, and she has not yet called me back. Uh, and what's interesting is that uh, you know, uh, even um, Alan Sachs had said some of the political folks would even look for notes, Clarice, that may, she may have written at one point. So if the sale begins tomorrow morning at 10, should be interesting. All right, we'll see how it goes. Brandon, thank you.